Hello, folks. Welcome to The Whiskered Woodcarver. I am Jeff C., and uh, I'm a visual marketing and live video guy, and um, I'm so glad you're here. And this is the show where we actually, uh, we just carve for 30 minutes, and I chat with my friends. So, in fact, one of my friends is here right now. She goes, hey, Brenda says, I can hardly believe I actually cut your live from the beginning. You know, Brenda, I was thinking about you today because you had previously in a comment said that you got the those... Uh, those headphones that help you know protect your hearing but also let you their bluetooth and let you hear like from your phone or whatever and listening to podcasts you said you were actually doing that uh, as you were mowing yeah it does make time fly by so yeah i i almost look forward to mowing almost so i can listen to podcasts but not quite there but anyway very excited for you guys to join me today by the way i am starting this thing like if you would like to know when we go live here and um I would love you to text this number a text like ww so i know that you're from whiskered woodcarver because what i'm i want to connect with people and i'm tired of the algorithms and i keep missing uh people so um you know, I would love for you guys to do that. So text me at 903-287-9088. Say you're from the Whiskered Woodcarver, so I know where you're at. I would love to connect with you there. So let's jump right in to the carving cam and get started. All right, so as always, I need to put on my protective apparel. And uh, we are carving on this, um, I call him the Santa Gnome. I don't know what his official name is, but that's what I call him anyway. So we need to sharpen our knives before we get started. And um, as always, I'm excited to chat with you. Today, the topic is pens or pencils? Which do you prefer and why? So, um, and it can change. You could have started like I liked pencils and now I like pens. Um, I'm gonna have to say it's pens for me. One, cause my dad and I make them like, uh, this is one my dad made right here. It's, a, it's actually a, um, like a circuit board pen. It's one of my favorites. I love it. And most of the time we make wooden ones. Um, we also, sorry, I should have had all this ready. This is one, I can't believe, remember if I made this or dad made it, but it's actually a bolt action. So yeah, so I'm a pen guy. But uh, either way, even in school, they both gave me fits because I'm left-handed and left-handed people know this, that when you um, write, you go over what you just wrote. <laughs> And I would smear my ink. I would erase things. Um, so Joshua goes, pencil easy to edit issues. Yes, I get that. But when you're left-handed, it's probably, um, uh, it, it's, pro it's, it's just hard for left-handed people. So Brenda asks, I uh, probably missed it, but did you put out a collection of the tools, resources for learning to carve? Um, oh, she loves the belt bolt action pin. So, hey, Wendy, how are you doing? This was Wendy's last day at Social Media Examiner. I am sad to see her go. She did so much over there. She was awesome, but uh, she's moving on to better things. But of course, I will see her on the socials because she's such an awesome person. Um, so uh, Eva says, Pen pens, pencils almost make me feel like when you scratch the chalkboard. So, and oh, yes, right. P Wendy has one of my special edition pens that I gave her uh, one. And so she loves her pens very much. Brenda loves sharp pencils. She loves a French, freshly sharpened pencil. I mean, I get that. I get it. So I want to show you guys. This is where this kind of came from. The what we're working on. This is the my first uh, trial at this pattern. I call him the Gnome Santa. And this is how far we've gotten with the blank. It's going pretty well. But this is where I got this from. Um, there he is on the front cover. I just thought he was really cool. Mine was close. Pretty close. Um, but uh, this is from Wood Carving Illustrated. This is one of their special editions. They've come out with these quite a bit. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm a Santa guy, but they've got tons of different ones in here. The only thing was, this was probably the most difficult one I did because that's all the, it's a two page thing and that's, that's pretty much all you get. So this was really um, a struggle like to, you know, get the pattern right and just carve from this. And it does tell you what kind of paint colors to use over here and kind of the tools he used but this pattern is one of my favorite guys is uh mike shipley and he's the guy actually from the bears that we did earlier the uh my christmas bear and also uh this bear right here this is mike shipley's pattern i just like his style it's kind of ozark style uh so yeah so if you guys are interested in it woodcraft uh wood carving magazine uh, wood carving illustrated i'm sorry um, and they have these special publications. You can even order these afterwards, but it's from Fox Chapel, and I mentioned them last time. 
They do a great job with uh, all sorts of cool stuff for carvers. So check them out. So <laughs> Wendy goes, you can't get rid of me that easily. No, I don't want to get rid of you, Wendy. So let's go ahead and start carving. I've been blabbing on for a while here. And so we're going to continue to work on Gnome Santa here. So I don't know about, know about you guys, but I am really excited that it is Friday. So can't tell who pins or pencils, which is going to be uh, most. But, uh, Brenda, you asked about the collection of the tools. I thought I sent that to you. I will um, make sure to drop that in the comments. I thought I sent it to you as a message, but if I didn't, I will do that. Because, yeah, if you want to start doing this, I'll get you set up. So after the, uh, I've been like, after social media marketing show today, I do every Friday for social media examiner. I, I've been wanting to do, I got a bread machine. Yeah. I'm one of those guys. And during the, the lockdown who baked, um, but I want, I've always want to make some, my, my wife and daughter love, uh, soft baked pretzels. And so I had a recipe and I did it in the bread, ma bread machine and uh, it, they taste awesome. They look like something my dog left in the yard. Not really got the whole pretzel uh, form down yet, but they tasted good. So that's all that matters, but gotta try it again. But that's what I did for fun this afternoon when I had to come and do my carving. So uh, yeah, it was pretty funny how they turned out. So Wendy goes, I reuse real pens. By the way, she's an incredible uh, artist. She's dropped in her stuff before, and you can drop it in again to your Etsy store, Wendy. Uh, she uses real pencils for most artwork and things like that. There's really nothing better than that. But for writing list cards, I use a pen. So when I want my writing to look nice, a pen is a must for me. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Like calligraphy and that kind of stuff. Okay, says, nope, I left getting a list together. I'll get that to you. I swear I put it together. I must not have sent it to you, Brenda. I will send it to you. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, she likes the, the, the pen that uh, I gave her. So I may have to start putting those on. Dad keep his, his cranking them out. I may have to put a link here where people can buy those pens if they want them because a lot of people seem to like them. And he does a really good job with them. I haven't been in his shop for a while to mess with uh, turning some pins. Because I've been here carving. I've kind of been getting into that more. Oh, hey. I sent some home for my son Avery and he says the bread was good. So, good. I'm glad. So, if a Brenda says if a pin is a really good quality fine point, nothing worse than a cheap pin. Yeah. So yeah, so that's Jim. Jim, great to see you here. Uh, Jim Fuse from uh, Fusion Marketing. He goes, I like pins, but also have Apple Pencil. So I actually now, because I was I was horrible when I would take notes. I would write all these sticky notes, and they would be everywhere, and they get lost. Uh, I have start, I bought a little iPad Mini. And I have an Apple Pencil, and that is amazing for me. So, so uh, Brenda goes, yes, would love a link to his pen. So I have a store. I'll make sure those are up, and uh, we'll put that a link. I think I can actually start sharing them on lives now with some new stuff that Facebook's doing. So we will have to do that um, if you guys are interested in those. So Wendy says, you need to. They are gorgeous. Well, thank you, Wendy. Dad. The guy we're talking about says um, fountain pins for the sheer pleasure, ballpoint for ease and practi practi um, practicality, pencil for plans and drawings, rollerball pins for quick sophistication. The only pin I have yet to make is a fountain and quill. Yeah, I know they have some patterns for that, but that is a, a uh, renaissance man when it comes to pins. You know, I kind of like this guy's nose better than the one I did before. I just kind of like the way it's going. Mm. 
<laughs> you just start rounding him out here a little bit. Yeah, I, I try. Wendy says she loves uh, good fountain pens too. I mean, I try fountain pens and I end up making a mess. Never have gotten that down. I was talking to Dad the other day, and it's really hard to uh, not lose my spot when I'm carving and trying to talk and read comments. Um, It's a whole different ball game. Anybody have special plans this weekend they're doing? Anything exciting? Father's Day. We're going to eat with the fam. And they have also... Uh, it's my mom and dad's 50th anniversary uh, on... Was it Sunday? Saturday. On Saturday. So, isn't that awesome? 50 years. Don't see that much anymore. So, give them a shout out because that's pretty awesome. Been blessed to have mom and dad around for that long. Yeah, when he says happy anniversary. Yeah, pretty cool. Hey, Nathan Jones says happy anniversary as well. Hey, Nathan, how you doing? Out of camera there. Let's see. Make sure I don't chop his hand off. I don't chop my hand off. Thanks, Jim. Jim says happy anniversary as well. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Hey, Newman36 over on Twitch. How are you doing? It's going well over here. I am glad it's Friday. Doing a little carving, uh, talking to some friends, chilling out. So Nathan says, great. Just got off work and finished the test. Was going to take a nap. But this is more relaxing. Well, I don't know. So I, I guess we're more exciting than a nap. So that's that's good. So you're working at Denny's, right? How's that going? Nathan, are you liking it? Or is it like, yeah, it's a job. So Newman says, yes, right. This is so relaxing. Well, good. I'm glad. It's kind of one of the reasons I do it. Because people seem to find it relaxing. Especially the end of the the week, it's something uh, nice to do. Kind of to chill out a little bit. Oh, Brenda says I'm going to be finishing up a roll-up tool bag I'm making for my son-in-law's birthday, canvas and suede. Well, Brenda, when you get that done, drop that picture if you would in these comments because I am really I really want a, one of those for my carving stuff so oh and Avery said he found my yellow shirt that I he said he didn't take see
My family tells me things when we're carving. So Nathan goes, it's a, lo- it's a job, long shifts, but I like all my coworkers and managers. So that's good, yeah. That can make or break a job in college is who you work with. Yeah, Brenda, I really do want to see that because I'm really, I did a bunch of research on like Etsy and different places for uh, those tool bags because I thought it would be fun like when I go camp, when we go camping or travel or whatever, or just having that instead of a, I have like a little Lowe's, you know, open bag kind of thing, but those tool bags are cool. I was looking at the leather ones because I kind of like the old fashioned look, but that canvas and suede sounds pretty cool. Trying to round out all this stuff here. Take some of the cuts from the uh, the bandsaw off. So I need to come down around here almost to it's my pencil. So, uh, Newman36 asked what I'm making. This is uh, the what we're working on right now. This is one of the first things, a pattern I got from Mike Shipley out of his book. And uh, this is where we're at. So, a little Santa carving. He's one of my favorite carvers. I just like his style. So, let me make sure that... I'll lift a little bit of sleeve. This, I think I cut this a little bit different when I made the paint saw. I did the pattern from that, so. I don't want to forget about his mustache. Just making some cuts here. Eva says, uh, my mom is such a trooper for putting up with dad for 50 years. I think so. But you know what? It's probably a little bit of both ways. (laughs) Everybody thought my mom was so sweet, soft-spoken. They never had her chase you around the yard with a yardstick. Uh, But mom, she's still one of the best cooks around. Amazing. I always call her when I'm trying to figure out something to, I screwed up something, or she's a great baker. She bakes some really good stuff. I wish I could bake pies and things like that, like she can. some of these square corners. This 
this is one I haven't, like I said, I've only done this one. And so I'm kind of a little bit more cautious on what I'm taking off. So, uh, good time of day. What does this tree? This is actually, this is, um, if you wonder what kind of wood this is, this is basswood, and that's uh, what we're carving right there uh, from uh, YouTube. Thanks for joining in. So, I'm going to take some more off in here. So I didn't hear what anybody was, uh, anything special planned for this weekend. Is everybody just going to be chilling? Kind of, uh, maybe not doing too much. So Brenda asks, uh, do you find it kind of hard to see a flat image and translate to a 3D block of wood? Yes, all the time. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's, you know, some people I've, I've noticed, like when I watch carvers on YouTube, I see them, you know, they'll all, they'll do all like all the top and then they'll move, work their way down. I have to go, um, I have to kind of, I'm always turning it and seeing what I need to take off. That's just the way. I do it. So um, maybe if I could see it a little bit better, Brenda, it would uh, it would help. But that's just the way I do it right now. Hopefully, I'll continue to improve and uh, you know keep keep this this skill going. Avery said he looks like he's gonna maybe go fishing this weekend. That'd be cool. Is Evelyn gonna go and put the worm on the hook for you again? <laughs> Wow, eight minutes left. We're, this is flying today. So. Breakfast at Steve's in the morning, then all our kids will be coming over to spend the afternoon, evening with us. Sounds like a good deal. We're going to probably take a Jeep ride tonight. We've been doing that as it gets cool. We got all the the top off and the doors off, and we turn. We have a whole Jeep playlist, and we just go cruising. Somehow, a lot of times we'll end up uh, at Andy's custard. Um, something happens there. We just seem to end up there every time, but uh, it's a lot of fun. So, Brenda's got my grandson turns four this weekend, so I will see him. That is awesome, Brenda. That'll be cool. Four years old. So I bet you got a bunch of stuff to spoil him with. I think my next project, I've been trying to find like a super simple pattern, like a horse or something that we could do together where you guys could like something that you could just like really, really basic and really easy that you guys could not like, you know, it'd be something that you could do and not uh, worry too much about kind of, you know, kind of whittling project, I guess. So I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to find something. Maybe we'll do a vote on it or something.
sleeve kind of comes down, and I want to make sure I don't forget to do that. So, making some little marks here. Avery says that we have a catalpa tree where all the worms are in our yard, and he, he doesn't like those. He says, worms don't bother me. It's those dang caterpillars. I swear that they bite. I don't think they do, but uh, where are you going to go fishing if you go, Aves? All right, about four minutes left. Starting to get some shape. I'm going to go ahead and use my big V tool here just to. I want to make sure that I don't mess up my beard. I'm going to make a little groove here just so I know where it's at so I can see it and don't accidentally do something. Actually goes all the way down to the floor, so we'll make sure that that's there and there. Probably the same thing I ought to do with his mustache. I kind of want his mustache to kind of come out over a little bit above it. So it's right like that. There we go. need to take it down and have it stick out a little bit because we'll take uh, you know the, the beard down behind the mustache a little bit so cool just like that so <laughs> Brenda asked so you haven't been here for a while so Brenda this she goes have you ever had a carving accident you ever and cut yourself so this is the one I did it on. So you see right here where that lip is? That split and I went, I was wearing the wrong kind of glove. I was wearing a canvas glove that I thought was um, cut resistant but wasn't. And I went into my hand and you can see right there, there's probably about, that was probably nine or 11. I can't remember how many stitches, but it was deep. I had to go to the emergency room and stop my carving for uh, six weeks or so, I think. So yeah. I have had those carving accidents, and that's why I always um, make sure I'm wearing this. It will probably not protect me against stabs, but like this, it'll, it'll keep from cutting in. So it's, yeah, <laughs> Brenda goes, oh my word, yes. It was not a good day, but uh, yeah. So that's why I always, at the beginning, try to remember to tell people to wear a safety um like a safety apparatus for your hand so and this one is because it's 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 not like my bear where you can like it's almost it's kind of rounded this is so a weird thing to hold it's just it's kind of odd so i think that's why it happened as well take off too much around his uh this may be a whole different looking guy this time there we go 
Oh, 17 seconds. Wow, this flew by. So I also want to use this to make sure I know where his hand is. there. I'll do the same thing over here. A couple of minutes. Like that. There we go. All right, so we got quite a bit done today. Thank you always for you. Oh, we got to sharpen our eyes we always finish with that um, appreciate <laughs> Joshua I was wondering when you got a pipe up telling me to sharpen it you thought I'd forget so thank you guys so much for joining me today Brenda and Avery and Eva and all you folks new folks from YouTube mixer and twitch thank you so much for stopping by I appreciate you as always um, don't forget that if you want to know when we go live and you want to kind of... I'm, I'm getting away from the algorithms because I'm always missing... Like Brenda even was talking about today, I thought I'd send her something and I didn't. And um, Text me, text WW or Whiskered Wood, Wood Carver to 903-287-9088. That's 903-287-9088. And you'll get an uh, automated message and then uh, it'll be me talking to you. So um, it's very, very cool trying this uh, new service out. But as always, I have four things I want you guys to leave with. Number one, we're apart, but we're not alone. Number two, wash your hands still. Uh, number three, hug those people around you if you can. And number four, uh, continue to pray for our doctors and nurses who are dealing with all this. They're still doing a lot for all of us um, as these cases go up. But just keep them in your prayers. And with that, have a great weekend, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.